Hello, let's see how to create secret objects in Kubernetes. So we have a, a manifest, a sample manifest for creating a secret object. So this is a very uh, simple file. First of all, let's see what secrets are. They are used to contain some data which is given inside the string data section of the manifest file. It could be a list of key value pairs. For example, here, username is a key and admin is its value. Similarly, password is a key and passpass is the value of password. Like this, we can have n number of keys and associated values. And each key can also have multiple values or one key can have a different map or dictionary altogether. So this is like a dictionary or map, what, how we call in, in terms of a, a programming language, we use the terms dictionary and map. So it's also like this. But when a secret is getting created, we could give text either in clear text form as we gave here, like string data, or we can also give it in some base64 encoded form. But this is easy to give in the file. If at all you prefer to give it in a base64 encoded form, you'll have to replace the string data section, the name of it with data, just data, and you need to put the values, the keys will be same, the values will be in base64. So now let's try to create the secret. The secret got created. We can check its status. Yeah, we have it here. So this is the secret that we created. And please note that there is a default token secret which is already there, which was created during the cluster creation automatically by Kubernetes. And that is associated with the service account. So there is something called as a service account in the namespace and there is a secret associated with the service account. Service account or like, or like system-based usernames. Okay, so now the secret has got created. Let's now try to get the details of the secret by using the describe command. So we see that the data section has got password and username. It shows the size of it, but it does not display the values inside the data keys. So we could uh, use the get command with output YAML flag to see even more details. O YAML. This shows the keys and values. So we can see password, we can also see username, but this time we don't see it like we typed. We see it in encoded form. This is base64 encoded value. If at all we wanted to decode this, we could decode this using the bash prompt, we, uh, using a shell command and see what the values are, what the values are in clear text. Let's try that. So we'll have to give echo and then the encoded text followed by a pipe symbol. And then we say base64 followed by hyphen D and this stands for decode. Hyphen D stands for decode. So we see pass pass is the decoded value. So in order to make it more clear, we could give one semicolon and one more echo command so that the output prints neatly. So this is what we gave. Similarly, if we wanted to decode the username value, we could copy that and do the same way. Paste it. And then pipe base64 hyphen D, or we can also use two hyphens decode. One more echo to print it nicely. Yeah, admin is what we give. So like this, we can add data to the secret object in 
encoded way. And this secret has got more purposes. So we could export the key value pairs into certain pods and use it for various other purposes. But in this video, we have seen how to create a secret. We have used two, Kalu, two key value pairs inside the secret, and we also check the values inside the secret. Hope this video was helpful, and we thank you for watching it.